Our bodies are amazing things. We've all heard the phrase, I know this place like the back of my hand. It expresses ultimate familiarity, the idea that you know an area as well as your own body. But your body might beg to differ. For as much as we think we've got a handle on the skin suit we spend all day strolling around in, the truth is it's capable of lobbing some strange surprises. Think you know yourself, think again. Here are 10 amazing body facts, many of which you probably don't know. Let us know in the comments which one was your favorite. Number 10. We can't swallow and breathe. Humans are the only mammal that can't swallow and breathe at the same time. Every other mammal, and many other non-mammalian animals, can breathe while they eat. In fact, human infants are also able to do so, which lets them breathe while they nurse. We lose this ability around the age of 9 months, when our voice box drops as part of our development. As children and adults, the human voice box lays unusually low in the neck compared to other animals. This allows sound to resonate much more, which is why we are able to produce the wide range of sounds that makes up our speech. Number 9. You salivate more before you vomit. This is an automatic bodily reflex designed to protect your throat, mouth, and teeth. Stomach acid is, of course, highly acidic, and if it weren't for the lining in your stomach, it would eat a hole right through it. Unfortunately, you don't have that same lining in your throat or mouth. Salivating before vomiting helps to dilute and rinse away the acid so it won't harm the rest of your body. Your saliva can also help to neutralize the acid somewhat. This is also why it's a good idea to rinse out your mouth and brush your teeth after you vomit. Number 8. Some women actually see more colors. Frustrated because you told your hubby to bring your peach shirt and he grabbed a pink one? It might not be his fault. A study from the University of California shows that up to 50% of women carry four types of color receptors, or iodopsins, rather than the usual three. Normal vision people will look at a rainbow and see seven different colors, while one with four receptors will see around ten colors. The reason this happens in women is that the red and green receptors are located on the X chromosome, while the blue is on the Y. The red and green receptors can be slightly shifted, allowing for a greater range of color vision. There are also a small number of women who will have both kinds of red and green, resulting in five color receptors. This is also why color blindness is much more common in men than women. Number 7. Every pound of fat gained causes your body to make 7 new miles of blood vessels. Knowing this, it's easy to see why obesity and heart disease often go together. Most of the new blood vessels are tiny capillaries, but also include small veins and arteries. This means if you are only 10 pounds overweight, your heart has to pump blood through an extra 70 miles of blood vessels. The good news is that this also works in reverse. If you lose a pound of fat, your body will break down and reabsorb the no longer needed blood vessels. This is encouraging to dieters, as one pound does not seem like a lot to lose, but even that little bit of difference will result in a large benefit for your heart. Number 6. Your navel is a rainforest. Scientists recently discovered that your navel may harbor the same kind of biodiverse bacterial ecosystem that is most often found in a rainforest. The Micrococcus species is particularly happy around the surface of your navel, where they cling to your flesh and live on oxygen. The average belly button houses around 65 different species of bacteria. A 
Of course, although an unclean, moist, and warm belly button might be the happiest home, your bacteria may also travel to other places on your body, such as your nasal cavities. Number 5. Our mouths are one of the filthiest parts of the body. We all like to tell ourselves that our mouths are sparkly clean. After all, we weren't constantly reminded to brush our teeth, floss them, and use mouthwash when we were kids for nothing, right? Our mouths contain our food, and that's clean, so what's the problem? Well, consider yourself very wrong. The human mouth is one of the dirtiest parts of the body, second only to the genital tract. But this isn't entirely a bad thing. Our mouths are actually host to hundreds of species of bacteria, many of which simply live there and don't really cause any damage. If any disease-causing bugs get into our mouths, these good bacteria outgrow them and starve out the competition to make sure that we don't get sick. However, if any of these good bacteria get into other parts of the body, such as the skin in cases of human biting, or down the wrong pipe, if your saliva gets into your lungs, then infections may arise. Number 4. Yawning cools down your brain. The act of yawning is so contagious that even reading about it can cause a person to yawn, but there has been much debate over what exactly causes it. One competing theory was that yawning allows the body to take in more oxygen for stressful events that are about to occur, like in sports, to make the body more alert. Other theories suggested that it may be a way to communicate boredom and tiredness, and to pump vital fluid around the body. In 2014, researchers came up with a new theory that unified many of the contradictory elements of yawning, to give a complete explanation. According to the study, yawning is the body's way of attempting to cool down the brain. The yawn takes cold air in, and increases blood flow around the brain, carrying away excess heat. This theory also explains why so many situations cause yawning. The brain heats up in stressful situations and before exercise, it also increases in temperature as people grow tired. Yawns fight boredom by allowing the brain to be more alert. Number 3. Coffee is good for your eyes. Carrots, step aside. There is a new player in town when it comes to improving eyesight. For everyone who is sick of being told to eat carrots because they are good for your eyes, this one is for you. Scientists are discovering that coffee is actually amazing for your vision. Coffee contains chlorogenic acid, or CLA, a powerful antioxidant shown to prevent eyesight deterioration from retinal damage. People tend to forget that coffee has hundreds of other properties besides caffeine, and CLA is one of them. With raw coffee containing 7-9% CLA versus 1% caffeine, CLA is definitely the bigger player on the field here. Though CLA is proving to be a powerful ally in retinal health, there are still many unknowns. Who knows, this could lead to CLA in the form of eye drops one day, for optimal effect. Number 2. Your height could predict your lifespan. Death is a terrifying fact that every living human will to face. But imagine if you could predict when that day would come. Unbelievably, you might be able to. According to a number of studies, your height could well be an indicator of your lifespan. Even though it sounds unlikely, there are real-world examples to back this up. You may have heard of the village of Ila Grande, Strasile in Sardinia. The place is famous because it has the highest proportion of centenarians in Europe. It's also a famously short place. The average male height of the oldest generation is a tiny 160 centimeters, 5 feet 3 inches. When someone taller does get born in Davila Grande, Strasile, researchers say they tend to die up to two years sooner than their shorter counterparts. It's not just this village, though. Other studies have suggested a link between being tall and dying prematurely. 
In one comprehensive example, researchers looked into the height and lifespan of 1.3 million Spaniards. They discovered that every additional centimeter in height reduced the average lifespan by 0.7 years. Bad news for basketball players, excellent news for munchkins. Number 1. Coughing can reduce pain. No matter how old we get, many of us are as scared of injections as we were the first time we visited the doctor. Getting those shots can be daunting, as even if they don't hurt as much as we think they will, the psychological effect of a needle piercing the skin is immense. Fortunately, there's a quick and effective way to reduce the pain, simply cough. As found by many studies conducted on the subject, coughing right when you're getting a shot increases blood pressure, which, in turn, helps reduce pain perception and therefore makes it hurt less. Any sort of distraction is helpful in reducing the pain of a shot. Coughing works more reliably than, say, turning and looking away from the injection. Possibly because it acts as a distractor, in addition to raising blood pressure.